Hello everyone, and welcome to Genshin Impact. This is a Taku show, but I don't know if I'm in a good position here on this particular video, but this will be my 18th account in an attempt to get two S-tier characters. I have had several thus far that have ended up with one at the very beginning. Now, my main account, which I've, I started with and played through and didn't stop and re-roll or do any of that stuff, my main first account uh, eventually ended up with two S-tiers uh, prior to the Venti banner expiring. I did not get Venti. <laughs> Uh, I ended up with Fischl and Ketching, but they came a bit too late. So, all, and it was my first experience with the game. I am not min-maxed in the slightest, and it is, at, I am at a point at Adventure Rank 38 that progress is really slow. I am very much resin limited right now. So, I made a few more accounts, and... The Venti Banner being expired, I eventually ended up with an account that had Klee. Uh, in particular, it got... Let me see, I have a big list of each of the accounts. On my fourth total account, so my third reroll account, I ended up with two Noels, two Ningguans, a... This guy's name. Uh, Xingju, uh, and Klee as the final character. So, one constellation Noel, one constellation Ningguan, who I have not touched, period. Thus far, uh, the Xingju, Sh Xingqiu, and Kli. I've gotten a few more characters since then, including like a Sucrose, and I forget a couple others. I have not gotten any other five-star character yet any other S tier. I don't have official, I'm um, just... Klee is my main DPS, which is slightly problematic because she can't do anything other than fire, which means she can't fight fire enemies. She does zero damage to fire-based enemies, which can be a little annoying. Uh, I say zero damage against fire-based enemies, what I really mean is zero damage against fire slimes can't break the fire shields on the abyss mages, but can they still take damage to Klee once their shield is down, and the pyro regisvine boss will still take damage, reduced damage from Klee, even though it is a fire boss, she can still fight it with doing some damage to it. I think it's the same with the regular Pyro Regisvine-ish character thingies, the, the Wallop Flowers or whatever the hell they're called. Since then, I've had one other account that I have rolled end up with a Klee. I've had a few Razor Poles, but he's not technically an S tier. He's good, but he's not S tier. I've gotten a couple Fischl Poles, but none with more than just the one S tier, and I would really like to have one main DPS S, S tier character with at least the one support S tier, if at all possible. Actually, if I ever do roll an account that has a, uh, gosh, what's his name? A Chong Yun Ice character, as well as either a catching or official or even a Beidou, electro or a razor any other good electro character with a good ice i would probably play that account uh can pretty consistently because the the electro ice uh, elemental interaction is really good it reduces physical uh defense of the enemy by a lot so, it ends up being really good, really, really, really good, uh, in the end, and it, the combination of Electro and Ice actually answers a lot of other, uh, elemental weaknesses really well, 
we have all five days of a uh, Klee gift mail, which gives a few hundred more Primo gems. It's nowhere near the number of Primo gems that we could have gotten after the 30 days uh, in the early part of October for the first month of release, but it's better than what it has been thus far. So now is the time uh, to do rerolled accounts. So let's get to it. it. We've spent a long enough sitting here just talking about like the state of my accounts and my thoughts thus far on why I'm even doing this in the first place. So yeah, I'm... I'm happy with my Klee account. I'm happy with my main account. Ish. I just do the dailies on my main account. Pay attention to the shapes here of the like portal she came through. It's very similar to the like star, the black star pin that Paimon has in her hair. By the way, if you if you never noticed that before. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my Klee account, it's just, I've done a lot of pulls, I'm about halfway until my next pity 5-star, which is saying something. Not very lucky on 5-stars uh, at all. Uh, each of my main account and this other Klee account have only had the one 5-star pull, ever. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be the female. Uh, her, her name, canonically, is Lumine. But I'm just gonna call her Lumina this time. Called her Lumina a few times, but I just I I can't help myself. I have to name her Lumina. I play way too wait. I've played way too much of uh, Legend of Zelda to not name her Lumina. <laughs> After seeing that her name is Lumine, and the boy is Aether. Just, by the way, she calls out his name. big anime opening. So, let us discuss here. So, I go through AR7, Adventure Rank 7 in this, and it takes about half an hour from beginning to end. So, from the moment that this cutscene started, from, like, clicking the entryway to the door, the about 30-minute countdown has started. Uh, so, this is going to be a pretty long-ish video, and that's just to get to Adventure Rank 7, I still have to, you know, go into my mail, get all the stuff out of the mail, get to the Adventurer's Guild, get the rewards from the Adventurer's Guild, uh, etc., and then actually do the wishes to see what I get. I don't know what I'm gonna get, but, uh, it's... how many... how many total wishes is it at this point in time? It's... 20 for the beginner's banner, and uh, it's like another 20 on the 20, 30, another 30 on the other, the Klee banner. So you get like the equivalent of about 50 wishes for free at this point in time with each new account. Uh, early on, by the time you hit Adventure Rank 7, just whack that slime, you don't need to kill it. Uh, this is a route that is on many, many channels, I'm sure, at this point. You've likely seen this route several times before through several other people. I like to explain some of the reasoning why behind, uh, why it looks like the way it does, why people do the things that they do, at least to my best understanding, uh, as well as, like, why should we reroll in the first place? Uh, so... I rerolled because, well, it's just taking a bit too long to progress my main account, and I want to continue rerolling for something even better than my currently than my current secondary account because of that limitation with Klee in particular, that she can't do physical damage at all, and can't attack, do any damage to fire slimes. Uh, Di Diluc is a much better character overall for a pyro character than Klee because you have a bit more control over when he has fire. But you also don't have complete control over when he has fire. Uh, honestly, I think uh, Zhongling is much better at controlling when she has fire, just like uh, Keqing is really good at controlling when she has Electro. And I haven't really had too much experience with, like, Beidou 
and her electro or uh, uh, what's their name, Razor, and his. I haven't really had too much experience with the Claymore characters at all in this, because the main, my main account, I was, my main DPS was basically just the Traveler for a long time, because I didn't have a particularly good character that I was willing to play that specialized in DPS, and it's like, uh, that, that can be a problem in the long term. A major problem in the long term. It just it just delays you and delays you and delays you. And when a big part of the big region of the map is designed for you to be Geo Traveler and not Animo Traveler, which is at, at this point in time the better combat character uh, versus Geo. Uh, let's skip out of this. Yeah, it can, it can, it just, it just hurts. It hurts a lot. I mean, Geo character can do a lot of damage in the later phases, like if you're fully ascended, like adventure rank, whatever, 40, 35-ish. 35, I think, is a pretty good value. Like, by the time you're able to get into the uh, last normal attack hit being a Geo attack, then Geo is a bit better, but then Animo is also a lot better because you also have the last hit of the Animo character doing the uh, the Animo element attack uh, at the end of a normal attack combo. Here we've got Devalin. We can actually continue to move during this uh, little cutscene here with Devalin up in the sky. Yeah, something huge! It's a wagon! It's a massive wagon. Oh, I lost my stamina. Dang. I, I don't want, like taking that jump if I am running. Also, I I, I come over here because because carrots. I, li I like carrots. Carrots are carrots are good for you. I don't actually eat carrots all that much because they're full of carbohydrates. But you know, carrots. Carrots are carrots are good. You need carrots for uh uh the. Uh, a, a dish to reduce your usage of stamina when you're uh, doing stuff. Hello, Dwagon. With like afraid. tons of wings. Right He's back. Is he talking to, to a, a dragon? dragon? Yeah. Is he talking to a dragon? Why, yes. Yes, he is. Who's there? If he is actually a he. Who goes there? Bye bye, Dwagon. We'll see you later. In about five minutes. Or less. Luckily, we shall meet again. Oh, what's that? There's some kind of Let's go Let's take go a look. Let's go take careful. a closer look. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. Grab that crystal. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Put it away okay. for now. Please don't get turned around on my way to chest the second. I didn't really mention that we picked up a chest already, but we totally have picked up a chest already. There's chest number two. It's just a straight shot from where you just were really close. Stop right, Stop right there. there. Says the worst character available for combat in the game. Fitting that she is the very first that the game decides to give you for free. Developers do this for a very good reason, and that is to force you to pay for better characters. It is absolutely predatory, and there is... I picked the wrong option! Dang it! There's, there's actually an extra line of dialogue for picking the top option. She is absolutely emergency food. You should you should always pick emergency food every single time, because uh, yeah, it's it's an extra line of dialogue. Excuse me, I missed. Oh yeah, with me talking, I'm sure my aim is going to be absolutely wonderful over the course of this. A really really long journey. Oh, looking for your family? 
Huh. Let's see if I can activate this before the uh, doohickey. The answer is not even close because of my stamina. Don't miss. I didn't miess! Wow. Die. Smack. Oh, I didn't have a fire. Swirl. Good, I got both the items before the cutscene triggered. Or the dialogue scene triggered, excuse me. This is not a cutscene, this is a dialogue scene, and I know I'm sort of like blocking the text, but who cares about the text? Who cares what they're saying? I'm skipping through so quickly. We all know what they say, right? The, the pointless dialogue? All we care about is getting to AR7 because wishes! Which is, but first, we cook. Time to go cooking. Now, we just happen to be passing by. Cook. That. The quality doesn't matter, but I'm not like. What should I cook? My, the ver my very oh, being dictates that I have to go for the perfect every time. There's, there's no way I can just spam my way through that, even though the quality does not matter for this quest. I, I must, I must hit perfect. Like, there's, there's no other valid option besides hitting perfect on it. Now, at the end of this, we should be adventure rank 4, and if we didn't, we missed something, and, uh... Yeah, that would be bad. I don't, I don't know what we missed. There we go, adventure rank 4. We're good. You. You. Are you ready for some cutscenes? I'm ready for some cutscenes. Yes, yes, we uh, we, we scared away the the boys' pigeons, but we're not going to talk to him, so we'll never know that we uh ruined some boy's day by scaring away the pigeons. Ah, the cutscene showing us the beautiful city of Mondstadt. With its windmills. Let me officially travel. Fine, but everyone's been. But Jean? Acting grand with Jean on our side. Shh, before it, it's a reward. What option you pick does not matter there in the slightest. Now, coming up right here is you have to push J. Navigate and then alt click to navigate. It'll actually keep you from moving until you alt hold alt to click. I've I've had it happen. It just stops you in dead in your tracks. Do not forget to activate the teleporter. Ask me how I know about that. You you, you don't don't forget to activate the teleporter. That's like 50 adventure experience that you miss out on that is absolutely necessary in this routing. Did I like, oh, I, I was not paying close attention and was just blindly following the line. So I've gone up at the exact wrong spot. Oh well, just a just a few seconds difference there. Not not no. much in the grand scheme of things. The wind glider. No, I'm just gonna go glide all the way down. I I don't even know if this has a fail state. Like I'm pretty sure I could just run faster than this, but whatever. It literal seconds. Lit literal like second, one second, two second difference and pound we're done and really long cutscene time so what are my thoughts about the state of Yenshin impact while this plays ah well as i've mentioned uh, a lot of my playtime is like reduced just because the resin system is so bad uh, uh there's no chance in hell i'm ever going to pay to get more resin uh, and there's also no chance in hell that I'm ever going to pay to get 
wishes. Like, that, that has never crossed my mind. Now, my main account, slightly regretting, slightly not regretting. I did pay for the Blessing of the Welkin Moon, and I did pay for the Battle Pass, the first tier, not the, like, insanely upgraded thing that gives you 10 levels for free on, your, on the Battle Pass. That's overkill. Don't consider that. Uh, if you do want to support this game, I would absolutely suggest the the $5 Welkin Moon and the 10 for the uh, Battle Pass, or however much the Battle Pass costs, I forget. It's like 10 for two months uh, of the time frame, and it's actually near the end right now. And Storm Terror. Time to fight. Time to shoot this guy's tail off. Aim for the base of the tail feathers. Ish. The the tails at the bait the root of his whatever tail. Feathers at the root of the tail. That's about where I aim. Of course, aim a little bit lower when he's moving like that, and we're done. It's not hard. Just hold the left click uh, over this time. Uh, so yeah, resin. Resin is the only way that you are able to progress your characters later on in the game, and it's just obscene that it is one resin every eight minutes for a game that is released on PC. I get it, it's supposed to be like really a mobile game, but if they released it on PC and other consoles, it, they do not have the same standards on these platforms as on mobile. Uh, they, they cannot get away with the same standards as on mobile on these other platforms, and uh, that is part of the reason why a lot of people have been very, very angry and been very, very vocal about their anger, especially since the announced change to the resin system is that they're going to give us a bigger pool to hold resin. Instead of only having 120 resin on hand, up to 120, you can hold 160 as of patch 1.1. They have said nothing about increasing the rate at which one obtains resin, which is the actual problem here, not the, act, not the pool, the total amount that you can hold, not the size of the glass that's the problem, but the amount the glass is filling, the rate at which the glass is filling. Ah. Or a new storm. We are, of course, the new storm. Now, let's not mess this up. We are going to the teleport point at the top of the Adventurer's Guild. And I actually have a bit of stamina to do this. I can get one more jump off. I just need to make sure that I can hit that ledge with it. And then up we go from here. This should be enough for two jumps ish i'm gonna jump here then i'm gonna climb up and jump here i missed i did i was planning on jumping and not we did not get the four star great we did not get the four star that is the one chest in this route that has a chance of a four-star accessory. And we didn't get it, sadly. So if this is the run, I'll be a little sad because we did not end up with a purple accessory out of this. But anyway, final main cutscene of this sequence uh, up to Adventure Rank 7. Everything after this is dialogue and not cutscene. This is the la very, very, very final one. Storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must relax. Relax. The time comes. Please lend a little bit more than just a hand Jean, when the time comes. That would be much appreciated. <laughs> and once... Click, 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 click. So, it is now a dialogue scene and not a... Cutscene anymore. Lisa, our resident... <laughs> Sadly, storm terror. Simply put, Mondstadt Yeah, resin. Resin needs to refill more quickly. I mean, or My skin is there. There is an alternative than just making blanket Mondstadt modifications to the resin system. There's 
the concept of making adjustments to how much resin specific tasks cost, that would be appreciated. That would allow for a bit more specific balancing uh, on resin. Like, I don't think that the, uh, what the heck are they called again? The, uh, the, the wealth and the EXP flower doohickeys, the ley lines, I don't think that they should be 20 original resin, right? They, they do not provide a big enough benefit to cost 20 resin. Flat. Period. The same is with the accessory dungeons. They also should not be 20. They are nowhere near worth 20. The talent book ones honestly don't give enough talent books. They're like the number one thing that you should be focusing on. Uh, over over time, spending all of you spend a lot of resin on talent books, and that probably could be adjusted to forty for the bosses, the the elite bosses. I think is somewhat okay. Maybe also that should be reduced slightly, maybe to thirty. But combined with I think a change to one every six minutes versus eight minutes, I think that would be a lot. Fairer for people extending the length of time people can play uh, a good amount each day while also having some push there for the people who are who are in my opinion not as intelligent and are or have the resources with which to spend money to improve their uh, resin output by spending primo gems because you can absolutely buy primo gems through money real money let's kill this guy with swirl break that not supposed to hold the swirl there but oh well Every fight is different on this. So we're doing the Ember part of the main quest now. Uh, and a lot of this is sequence breaking, preventing uh, specific dialogue options from showing up. That takes care of them. That, that will take care of that. So by like hitting this while in this room, it prevents a dialogue popping up that could stop you about, hey, hit the thing with fire, that type of thing. And there, there's one to like, hey, hit the, there's a, there's a barrel there, an exploding barrel. You can hit the barrel. Excuse me, I didn't, I didn't charge long enough. Just little tiny optimizations in this particular, whatever you want to call it, dungeon. There is one more after this, and that is with Lisa that we will be doing. Uh, the one with Lisa is the one that actually gives you an Animoculus for completing it, which is the whole idea. It gives you a lot of experience and the Animoculus uh, in it. And by the way, some of these chests that are in these little domain things are not required. I just get them because, hey, if this is to earn, if it's to earn, and an account that I'm going to play, I don't want it to be a, an account where I, you know, missed things like that. Uh, let's see, can I... Are the are the aiming gods with me today? No, no they're not. Ob ob obviously no, they're not. Come on, hit the dude. I said hit the dude. There's a couple more chests, as well as our first of the Animoculus that we will, we will be collecting. Head towards the statue at Windrise. I find it interesting that Paimon says head back to the statue of the Seven at Windrise. Oh hey, it's uh, Bonnie and Clyde. Or Abbott and Costello. I think I think I've named them Abbott and Costello officially. That's that's their name for those for those two particular uh, water slimes. 
dispose of that. Uh, we will worship and give these two Animoculus that we currently have. It'll give us our first level, which will unlock a uh, wind point to shoot up in the sky that gives you actually access to another Animoculus, oddly enough, but also a very convenient shortcut to get to the Lisa uh, domain, dungeon, whatever the freaking heck you want to call it. But first, it's time to climb a tree! In Mondstadt, people call them Animoculus. There's a convenient foothold right here they can be to restore some stamina. Eye. How does Paimon know this? Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but Animunculi never had a physical form from the start. People like, honestly, if, uh... Them to offer to the pa Paimon knows a lot of stuff about this world, right? And yet, no one knows what a Paimon is. In, in this region. So, where is she from? What are her people like? Where are her people? Like, what... what element is she? So, these are... these are... interesting questions. Kill the... kill the boar. I did. I killed... I killed Boris. Because I get really tired of him ramming into me. There's one other... uh, boar, and uh... Oh, that's... What? I've never seen you before. I've, I've never seen that particular boar. There's there's one more that can become problematic. Oh, it's uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry. Alright, we're going to look straight up and try to align ourselves to collect this Animoculus here before heading on over towards the uh, this little shrine. Or Lisa. And you can see that other Animoculus right next door. We will collect that after this. But before I walk in, we are going to take care of this other boar, whose name is officially, for me, Johnson. I don't see him. Okay. So so the, fir the first boar is Boris, and the second one is Johnson, because obviously. Hi. I have been visited by a dolly. My seven the one of the two seven month old kittens. Bet you can't keep up with me. Bet you can't keep up with me. And now for the Lisa tutorial. Oh boy. I knew it. So in the course of this we will collect six common chests temple. as well as the precious chest Palmer, at the very end. Just so we're clear we? on that. So there's one. We are, we are counting. And right up and around this horn is number two. I'm gonna hit this button as I as I pet the cat next to me. Yes, yeah, little little dolly. And we have the hardest fight in the game. Leave it to me. This level seven pyro slime has way too much health for its own good. For a single enemy that's in here. It's an electro Yes, I, I really I really hate no wonder, when the game takes control of the camera. It with a bit of uh, so that would be chest Stand number three. Come Hold a little e. closer. Die. Here's chest number four. And then right in here. Good positioning on these guys. You've been a naughty boy. When it this comes is chest number enemies, five. I've got them covered. Then right up here. Oh, another if you've one seen coming. this route before, you probably know what's about to happen, but I do take this slight detour to get this common chest the sixth. So, here's the big thing about this. This is the sequence break. Uh, we completely skip a fight uh, by going the scenic route and uh, and seeing some of the unfinished external sides of these walls. 
Where's the oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. What? You're seriously asking? This is a vision. Hold up. By the chosen to what? Elemental powers. In terms of it's not here. I suppose the, you could call it the, a the magical that, rod. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. What? The platform is just gone. It doesn't exist. What? Here, reload. Just, yeah, reload from here. Where's the... Yeah, what? Am I stuck? Do I have to do this over again? I think I just failed. Nope, there's the platform. But I barely missed the... Excuse me. Uh, we'll go right back to where we were. Well, that's a fail and a half. Oh boy. Let's, uh, yeah, not fight that fight. I'm, I'm not interested in fighting that fight. So in the ide in an ideal world, we would have made our way around this horn and arrived just in time for this platform cycle. Uh, ideally, that platform would be just arriving here by the time we make it here. Lisa would say her thing on our way over to that switch, and then we would be finishing off this. But no, we've lost like a good minute and a half, two minutes, just because this platform literally didn't spawn. I have never seen that happen before. And of course, the very first time that I do a live recording of this... What? Even is the time vision? that something Just super exactly weird happens. Are you a hilly churl with some level right, of Right, right, kitty. It's always, always, it no, always happens, Dolly. It. Every After single all, time. Hilly churls aren't exactly known for their smarts. Please aim. And you, you more or less qualify to be a magister's break it, and we can head home and relax. <sighs> the thought of Ta da! The final main dialogue sequence of this, and then we can see what our hall ended up being. Because it has been consuming its because of hatred, hatred, hatred. So we do this Lisa one particularly because it gives us the animoculus right as I shot the thing, and uh, it gives us a whole bunch of experience, uh, adventure rank experience. So it's really 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 nice for this phase it does not get us up to adventure rank seven where is johnson there he is goodbye i guess i could have named the other guy cave and he can be cave johnson but whatever all right statue take all five of our Animoculus, and we are now Adventure Rank 7! Huzzah! Huzzy huzzoo! We have mail. We have lots of mail, uh, but what we want to do now is go to the Adventurer's Guild, uh, because we've got some rewards for hitting Adventure Rank 5 in particular. Uh, in the mail, there's this nice little Claim All button that I will do. Uh, there's some Primo Gems out of here. I could have gotten five extra Primo Gems through an achievement uh, had I gotten the four-star accessory from the one chest that could have a four-star in it. I'm uh, going to come down here, going to talk to you, claim the rewards, all of them, just going to spam our way through. This gives us a few more wishes. Uh, don't forget to push G at this point and go through all of the little messages here because that gives you another, apparently this time, 18 Primo Gems. I've had as many as 24 uh, for uh, all of the little tutorial pop-ups. And with that, just so we're clear on where things currently stand, did I end up with any good... Uh, Hmm. Hmm. 
I wouldn't mind giving this to a Barbara. Really? I got... I got two of them with a defense percent? Well, I'd give that to Barbara. Oh, of course. Uh, and I'd give that... To, uh... Noel. And I'd give that to Noel. So, or... Or no, I would give this to Barbara. Barbara scales her healing based off of max HP. And Noel scales her damage on her ultimate, her elemental burst. The, the Q attack on her defense. So, yeah. So, uh, pretty decent accessories as they currently stand for a Barbara and a Noel. We are guaranteed a Barbara. For reaching a specific adventure rank. I forget off the top of my head what that is. I think it's 15. And we are guaranteed a Noel from what we're about to do with our wishes. So that's the current state of those. I got a recurve bow, which gives HP. I don't know of a bow character that scales off of HP. So, meh. Otherworldly story would be good initially on a Klee, unless I got a uh, better, un like, until I get a better four-star, which uh, is pretty easy. Uh, these other ones are trash. Uh, to be completely honest. So, F3. It is time. It is time to see if this account is even remotely worth spending any more time on. We shall start with the beginner's wishes. We have 12 of the wishes that get used for this. 12 standards, and we have 10 of the event wishes. So, the novice wishes, you can only do this twice, and it uses 16 wishes. Twice ever, and that, that's it, you're done. You are guaranteed Noel, and you are guaranteed at least one different four-star character. Ideally, what we'll end up with out of this is about four four-star characters, if not a five-star. I have never seen a five-star out of the beginner's wish. Chivalry will never die. So go ahead and skip, and we ended up... It always happens, it always happens that I tend to end up with someone on the Klee banner outside of Noel. The Klee banner has an increased chance of Noel and an increased chance of however the hell you say this guy's name, Xing Chu. Xing Chu? Xing, Xing Chu? I think, I think. Best way I can say that, Xing Chu. It's very hard for me to get the SH followed by the CH sound for the, for the X and the Q. Remember that this is, this is a Chinese name, a Chinese developed game. So, uh, at least, I should attempt to say these names in a similar fashion to how they actually are. So, I did get two characters on this first poll, and I'm guaranteed at least one more. That is not Noel uh, on this next poll. But we're not going to do this next poll quite yet because I'm going to use these 10 standard wishes, and ideally I'm going to get, like, Klee or another 5-star. I got a Noel. Wonderful. Ah, so Noel now has her first constellation given. It it, it happens. It's a 50% chance on this Klee banner on the four star to pull either a Noel, a Xingqiu, or a Sucrose. And uh, only a 50% chance from there to pull any of the other four stars that are in this banner, uh, of which... There's a whole bunch of weapons that can actually be drawn, and I sort of, I did the math, and it turns out it's only like a 15% chance. A little over a 15% chance of getting any of the other characters besides these three. Yeah. Each time you pull a four star. So, not great. Not great. It's like 50% oh hi Ollie. That's our other four, uh, seven month old kitten. Hi. Hi the boy. Hi, boy. My Ollie. That's a pretty Ollie. I've got Ollie and I've got Dolly next to me. They are they are brother and sister. So, then I spend the Primo Gems for the next poll. Oh my god, three Noels. 
Oh, this is... Uh, this is my luck. This is... This is my luck. So then we go into the shop. Uh, and what we're going to do... Because the rate is so much better on that beginner banner. That is not the right tab. Uh, we pick up the other four acquaint fates here. Uh, and then... I just pick up the intertwined. We're going to end up with, like, four of the five intertwines at the end of this, uh, at the current state of things. Who is this fourth character going to be? Well, it is, theoretically, any of Sucrose, Chongyun, Bennett, Fischl, Ningguan, Xingju, Beidou, Zhanling, Barbara, or Razor. Who do I want? Ideally, I'll pull at least two of these, and I want a Chongyun, Razor, or Fischl. I want Chongyun, and I want a Fischl or a Razor. One of those two. I'll take any other Fire Bennett. I'll take Bennett with Chongyun. I'll take, I'll take a Zhongling. I swear that these are not evenly distributed on their values uh, based off of my own experience. I'm pretty close to being able to say that with certainty after having done enough pulls of the lever of this to dick to say whether or not but i have i have pulled all of these at some point all of these characters from this banner i'm pretty sure so let's see who we get we got holy Well, say hello to my new account. <sighs> because yes, you can pull five stars in this banner. And uh, yeah, we pulled Diluc and Beidou. Both of which are Claymores. And uh, yeah. Hmm. Would have liked the Chongyun, Ice, but, uh, because I, I would have accepted Beidou as well if, uh, I got Chongyun, but this is beyond. This is my very first ever Diluc. Diluc, or whatever the heck his name is. Diluc is how it's said by Paimon in this game. This is the first time I've ever gotten this guy. And it was on the not Klee banner, which means that I have pity still towards the Klee banner, towards the character event wish. So I am, over the course of the rest of this playthrough, going to at some point end up with 90 wishes, right? So I am eventually going to get a 5 star through the character event wish. And it is likely not going to be Diluc. Diluc. Yeah, I think this this one wins. Uh, Diluc is a S tier. Yes, one S tier, and I wanted to, but Diluc. But Diluc. Um, almost to the point where I might want to like do the Epitome banner for the Grave uh, Sword. The Wolf's Gravestone. Uh, that one is a claymore that uh, scales attack uh, as you improve it, which is really nice. It is This is the best claymore in the game, of which it's a 1.850% chance over 80 attempts. Keep this in mind. This banner is different from the character banner because it has a higher base chance of a 5 star and its pity timer is 10 fewer attempts versus the sparkling steps, the event character event uh, one. And they have separate pity timers between the two. Now, if I continue wishing on this banner, chances are I'll get Sucrose. Sucrose and Xingju 
are good to have, as is Noel. They have some really, 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 really good uh, field uh, stuff. They they do they do good things. They do good things. Sucrose uh, increases the mats. I think it. I think they both. They both do stuff with alchemy in the conversion of resources, and they do different resources. I'm pretty sure that's the thing with both of them. Or I've it's it's out of my head beyond uh, and gone at this point. But anyway, we're wishing on the Klee banner because I would like Klee, but uh, I would like the chance at any other five star or S tier. Or I keep exiting out by mistake. Skip. Uh, I should get at least one more four star. It's Probably a suit. Oh. An Eye of Perception. Uh, I could get another four star. I got the Sucrose. I could get a five star. So he says. Uh, we're not actually done yet. Uh, shop. Bargains. Stardust Exchange. Uh, two more intertwined fates, and I'll be able to get one more after the next pull, leaving me with one more for the month there, and I still have a standard one eventually as I continue to play this account. So, wow, it I can't believe it, it took 18 rolls to get a- 18 accounts to get to Diluke. Diluke. Ah. Uh. Uh, wish. And one more wish. You never know until you do the pull. And it was nothing. That's fine. We get one more wish. From the bargains on the Stardust Exchange on Intertwined Fate. Even though I haven't gotten the five star, that these are still pulls that count towards getting that five star in the end on Sparkling Steps. And I did not get anything of particular value out of this, but, or I might have gotten a good blue uh, weapon at some point through this. Doesn't really matter. The history's not going to show me anything quite yet. It updates, like, hourly, but you get the point. I just did, like, about 30-ish Sparkling Steps, as well as 20 through the, or, yeah, it's 20 pulls of the lever. I, I call these pulls instead of wishes because it's a, akin to pulling the lever on a slot machine. It's pulls uh, each time you roll the dice or roll the slots to try and get something good out of this. And uh, yeah, I, I guess this is my next ter tertiary main account uh, because Beidou Diluc Noel Sucrose are really good, as well as uh, Xing Chu for support. Water, fire, electric, and uh, wind, and Noel at Geo. Uh, she'll be the healer for now until I would get to Adventure Rank 15, which would guarantee a Barbara. Uh, it, she gets sent in the mail. I don't know how long that lasts, if that's going to be a permanent thing that we get her in the mail. We also we also get Zhang Ling for completing floor 3, chamber 3 of the Spiral Abyss. And that is permanent. That will never go away. We will... Everyone gets a Zhang Ling uh, by completing 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I have done that uh, at level 40. Uh, at my main D main DPS level 40, and oh god, I got Diluke. He is Diluke. Really, he's he's, he's supposed to be good, real, real real good, real real good, real good. The only issue I have is that uh, this is two claymores who use the same kit between them. That's that's my only main issue, and I didn't end up with any freaking good blue accessories to have on these guys. 
Like, no good blue accessories. So there, he's, he's gonna use greens for now, because I just, I just don't yet have decent accessories. But he's, this, he's my main DPS, like, obviously he'll be my main DPS. That goes on, uh, Noel. This is not useful to him in the slightest, nor is a cryo damage bonus, for that matter. Uh, oh, and of course we're going to get Kaya, because we still have that main quest to do, to, uh, to get Kaya as well. Uh, oh, hey, I got attack. I got attack, yay. Huzzah, you, you have a constellation, because I got t three of you. Right. Right. I need to, I need to make a note about, about this. So, for account 18, god, account... 18, I got Noel times 3, along with Diluc, and Xingqiao, or Xingju, however the heck you say his name, uh, a Sucrose, and a Beidou. That is insane. Can can I just make clear that this, this account is insane, because I, it got... Seven. Seven character pulls. Within the first however many 50 uh, wishes. Seven characters. A five-star character was among them. Not double S, but the S it got is amazing. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to play this because I haven't played Diluc in particular. Uh, and he's supposed to be really good. If I'm not happy with Diluc? Sure, I'll continue doing these pulls, but, or doing these re-rolls, but, oh god, this is, this is so good. This is so good. Why did it have to be this one time? One time. All it took was recording, right? Recording live. Ish. Jeez. I've had one other account that got, I think, as many pulls as this. Uh, my 16th attempt got three Noels, a Sucrose, a Razor, a Barbara, and Xingju. Uh, that was three, four, five, six. Also, seven pulls of characters. But this is better seven. This is a better seven than that one. I wish I had official in this. And I wish I had a... Uh, Uh, a Shangyun for ice, but I'll take it. I will take it. Klee is just going to end up as not a great addition to this. Honestly, Klee is S tier. I've enjoyed my Klee account. I think I want to keep up with my Klee account, but in terms of like a serious min maxi playthrough of this game this is gonna have to be it i really don't see getting any luckier than this than an than a five star on the beginner banner right like that is cool five star on the beginner banner i am so glad i got this recorded that I, that I went through this whole journey. This is why I was doing these resets, uh, these rerolls, to try and get A, someone that I haven't played, B, ideally two S tiers. Didn't get two, but got someone really good still that I haven't played and I'm willing to accept it. And uh, yeah, this is good. This is good. Um. I'm torn a bit because I have been playing myself, by myself, uh, through this, and not making content, not streaming this game, so I would love to stream this, play this account, or any account really, maybe all of the three that I've been playing just to show the differences in my experiences between 
these playthroughs, but oh my goodness. This was good. This was really good. I am happy that I took the time and the these 18th, this 18th account. Oh boy, I'm going to have to renew my website hosting because I've been using my emails that I can make through my web hosting my infinite email addresses that I can make through my website hosting to use for accounts for this game and it's just ah uh, god I hope nothing happens to this account wow this is awesome uh did I get a I got debate clubs so that's good I got I got a couple of debate clubs so that's what he's gonna use for now Usually I end up with two million debate clubs, but uh, oh well, <laughs> that's that I guess for now. I get I can give one to her as well to Beidou, because she also uses base attack attack. Uh, once I get a four star or craft the four star, uh, Aminus, great sword or whatever the heck it's called that is going on Diluke, and I will refine the debate club with the other debate club. Who knows how many I'll have by that time. Um, I need to get to adventure rank... 12? For the dailies. But I'm not going to do it by questing. I'm going to do it through exploration on my own time so that we can save doing any quest stuff from here on out as streamed or recorded content. So, some engagement if you've been watching and you've reached here at the end of this like hour-long journey with me today. Um, let me know what type of content you would like to see. Do you want to see me streaming this? Like, do you do you want me to stream this? I will. I am willing to stream this daily. In fact, I will set things up and we can just go and do it. But, uh, yeah, this... This is gonna be pretty nice. And I am very much looking forward to playing Diluke on this account. With that, let me know all your thoughts about everything involving the game. Let me know your thoughts on the resin system, how you would improve the resin system. Let me know your thoughts about just the gotcha rolling system in general, your thoughts about Primo Gems, how, how the developers can introduce additional methods of obtaining Primo Gems for free in-game to continue doing rolls, uh, because they're not going to fundamentally change their uh, rolling system, the, the whole gotcha system for this. So we, we will have to live with that. Uh, ideas for creative ways with which we could get additional free characters like we have we already have a free character for getting to 3-3 in the spiral of this maybe have some rolling stock for getting through the final floor of the spiral every cycle out just gives people a character for doing that i i don't know that sounds like a good idea to me have some sort of extra special reward for completely clearing spiral abyss and uh, rewarding players to who build an account that can do that that sounds interesting but also we need to be able to build an account to do that within some reasonable amount of play time we have to be able to put the time in and the resin system sort of prevents you from being able to put the time in in a timely manner so yeah just let me know your thoughts on everything uh, regarding this and uh, your hopes and dreams for the unannounced content in 1.1 1 .1. uh but yeah Thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Shabot, and, uh, yeah, I am really looking forward to continuing this. Hope to see you all on the next video.